Hi, Merry Christmas. This is Teresa. I am making a Christmas video for 2022 and just kind of catch up on what's been going on here in my life. Um, Christmas 2022 was completely different than what we expected. We had a deep freeze come through and our electricity was out, our water was frozen, and on Christmas Eve, my daughters came to pick me up to go to uh, where they live, in the town where they live. So I decorated a tree, I had just all my plans just did not work out. So. We ended up, I stayed all night with my daughter, Megan, and it was very nice. Got up and had some coffee and uh, spent the morning with her. And then I finally did make it back and our electricity did come back on. But the reason for my little video I'm going to do today, I saw, I've been seeing some really cute uh, question and answer videos about Christmas. And like, everybody's Christmas is so different. And I just wanted to kind of like let you know my thoughts, Mimi's thoughts on Christmas. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start with Christmas past. So Christmas past was basically uh, snow, Santa Claus, presents, and it was just playing with toys the rest of the day. And then as I was older, when I was married, then my Christmas was mostly at my husband's uh, mother's and father's home on Christmas Eve. And then I kind of took over when I started having grandchildren. And then, um, so Christmas went from being... Santa Claus, and then it started being more what Christmas really means, and it was uh, going to church, going to sing, and our church choir would perform a cantata, and my mom talked me into going and joining that and being in that cantata with her, and we had so much fun, and those memories of singing in that cantata really bless me and made me so happy that I was able to do that, especially with my mom. Um, then when Christmas present right now, it's very different because I no longer make the big Christmas dinner. My daughters and my grandchildren go to other families and they on the other side of the family, on their, you know, my grandchildren's side of the family, their their dads. And uh, then they, they all are working. So everybody's back to work. And it just, even though I really go big on Thanksgiving, and that is my holiday that they come to me and we celebrate Thanksgiving. But it seems like now... Christmas is just kind of like they stop in. They're here about an hour and a half. We see each other on Christmas Eve around 7.30. And then by 9 o'clock, they're back leaving to go wait for Santa Claus. And I make punch. And so, and then the next day, I just sort of, I'm by myself. And that's a really a strange feeling. But, you know, I think to myself, I have jumped hoops to be Santa Claus and to make the magic happen for everybody all these years. And I am 59. I'm ready to sit down and drink a cup of hot chocolate and he, just make whatever I want to eat. And I'm good. I'm, I'm happy. And then I can see my kids' pictures. They send me pictures of their shenanigans and all the fun things that they do. So my Christmas 
future is I would like to travel. I'd like to go two places I know for sure. The Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia and also Biltmore House in North Carolina, The especially at Christmas. That's the largest. I don't know if you're familiar with Biltmore, but wow, it is magnificently gigantic. Then uh, the another place that I saw yesterday that I would like to go is Stonewall, Stonewall Resort, Resort here in West Virginia. So that would be a easier trip to get to go. I don't fly, and if we go to North Carolina, someone's driving. So we're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be a road trip. But I wanted to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And, you know, Christmas doesn't have to be perfect. The first Christmas wasn't perfect. The first Christmas wasn't perfect. Baby Jesus was born in a barn, in a stable. Mary gave birth to a, the, the Son of God, baby Jesus, in a, in a stable. So, the things that happen... You know, we're, we're going to look back on it and we're going to say, remember that when that happened. So just take the good, remember the good, and just don't dwell on the negative. Just focus on a brighter day, a brighter day in the future, because there's always something to be thankful for. And as long as we're alive and breathing, there's always hope. And we can always move forward and walking in love and kindness and goodness. And so that was my Christmas little video. And I wish you all a very, very happy 2023. Happy New Year. And I hope you have a fun time and be safe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Love you.